Information technology upgrades. Um, do I have a motion from anybody to recommend this? I'll give you one. Okay, Mike Pluff has made a motion and Regina seconds it. And um, what was that phrase, Tim? Red is written? Okay, so could accept you please to accept it? Red is written. Okay, accept it. Red is written. I'm not going to read this whole, I'm not going to read any of these. Uh, okay, so Fred, do you want to just discuss this a little bit? The selectman would like to um, take some time this coming year and study um, through this warrant article upgrades to the existing town computer service systems, uh, purchasing software, hardware, services including uh, any necessary support items to upgrade the fire department, primary dispatch, EMS, and records management ser services and software and to replace and upgrade computers and communications equipment and upgrade and outsource the town's website hosting services. Uh, the sum of 120000 to come from the unassigned <coughs> fund balance um, as of March 31, 2016. Thank Excuse you, me, President. December 31st, 2017. Uh, the idea is to uh, try to uh, come to a conclusion as to what is necessary uh, to upgrade our existing computer services and bring us into the year 20, 2018. Okay. Thank you, Fred. Thank you very much, Mr. Manager. Uh, any questions from this committee? Tim, please. Uh, you mentioned that this was for a study, Fred. And yet, I don't see the word study in the warrant article. <coughs> you have to study it before you can implement it. The idea is to study this, then to implement these changes uh, so the systems will be better for the town. And I guess that's the genesis of, of uh, uh, the essence of my question is that we don't have, apparently, we have these general categories we're going to throw some money at, and that's about all this warrant article says to me. Am I, am I misreading that somehow? We have four things that we're looking directly at. We're looking for the fire department's primary dispatch, EMS, and records reporting services software. Um, they are currently using software, it's referred to as IMC, which is more based for a police department. They've been looking at more fire software, and there's a suite of software that will um, take care of their dispatch, their fire reporting, their medical reporting, and their fire inspection. They've visited with, uh, had several different vendors come in and sh uh, show them how their software works, and have a ballpark figure of about seventy-seven thousand dollars for that. So that record um, reporting services software is seventy-seven thousand. Seventy-seven thousand dollars. Okay. These are just round, just from different people coming in. They've had a couple vendors come in, and that was just their ballpark figure there. Is that an annual fee or? Uh, uh, no, it's, I don't know what the annual fee was on that. I don't have all well, those details. I wonder if it's a flat-out license fee for the software. This, the 77000 I believe, was to implement it, to, buy, to purchase the software, and to implement it. Then right. after that, I would assume that there would be an annual fee <coughs> like you are speaking of. I, don't, I wasn't involved in this. It was a package deal, no doubt, including hardware, it sounds like, at 77000 I wasn't involved in what was what the vendors that came in, but I know that that was the figure that was given um, when we were drafting this article, given to the assistant town manager. So seventy-seven k roughly for records reporting services software, right? for the fire, fire department, department, which is their whole, it'll run everything at the fire department and it'll hopefully um, intertwine, it should be. Okay, so it's fire department's primary dispatch, EMS, and records reporting services software. Yep. Dispatch, All fire that reporting, is medical reporting, and fire inspection. It's a suite that would encompass that whole entire department. Okay, so 77,000 to the fire department, period. Yes. Okay. And then the other uh, large larger of the cost items in here would be to, um, and I think it said that right in there, let's see, necessary support, upgrade and outsource the town's website hosting service. 
um, we've spoken with a couple, with two different vendors on that, and the uh, initial cost is probably just under $25,000 to have someone come in and build the uh, website. It'll be more user friendly. People will be able to search for things. I know that's one of the complaints right now. No one can go on there and search, but if they wanted to search for um, Tim Jones, they would put his name in and they would be able to search. The, it would bring them to budget committee minutes and direct them right to the links. It would be um, access, mobile access for individuals. Plus there would be forms that they could fill out online. Um, and that's just the 25000 to build the website. And the annual cost on that, I do know, was $4,000 from the vendor that we did speak with and get a quote from. But we've also talked to another vendor on that. 4000 for the hosting service itself? Yes, for, uh, for the <coughs> yearly contract. But the initial would be between twenty one and twenty five. We're getting for a price on that. So, so those have, are the two big ticket so you have, items. You have a vendor in mind for the for this already? We just talked to two vendors. Um, there's two that we have met from going to NHMA conferences and stuff. One of them is uh, have the vendors written down here. Let's see. Uh, one is Civic Plus, and the other one is MuniCode. Those are the two we've spoken to so far. All of these would have to go out with RFPs and all <coughs> of that, you know, if, if the Warren article does pass. But those are the two main, the big ticket items there. And then other items uh, were repeaters for better cell phone services uh, or for when people come in and do trainings and for wireless connections, uh, some cell phone repeaters, and then... Routers, basically. Routers, um, computers, yeah. computers for that are over and above that would probably be involved with the uh, fire department, I believe, for their new um, software. So some hardware, basically. Yeah, but the, like the I said, the just the big so that's piece of that are the uh, fire software package and the outsourcing of the website are the two big items for the hundred twenty thousand. But then you need some hardware to, in yes. order to run yes, this software. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, so you do. that explains the hundred and twenty thousand. So, yeah. okay, thank you. This this uh, yeah. wait, Sonny. This approach. Tim still. I assume gave birth the from the uh, technology audit that was done last year. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, there are other um, uh, activities associated with that uh, that are not in this one article. I believe you you put a policy out, Fred, that. You're going to have a conduit put in for future fiber optics, is that correct? Whenever you bust open a road? we When we're doing a large excavation in a roadway, like the uh, proposal to uh, replace the pipes running across the marsh, we'd, we'd be uh, digging up all of along uh, the side of Route 101. It's our excuse to get in there and put a conduit in so we can run fiber optics in the future if we have to. Right. And they're putting in a, uh, such a conduit is like very cheap, right? Uh, the conduit's nothing. That's, right. that's very inexpensive to do. I would hope that that would be done every time you dig up something that we could put a conduit because it's so cheap and you're already there, uh, regardless of where it is in the town. Because eventually everyone's going to get fiber optics. Yeah. Anytime we have a, a, a major excavation, yes, but okay. small excavations, okay. no, obviously. Right, right. Okay. I, I just wanted to be clear on that, and I'll, I'll, I'll let my uh, other members speak. You're finished. Okay, point. thank you, yeah. Tim. Um, Sonny, you had your uh, hand up. I noticed this is a fire in EMS. What about the police department? Police department's on its own system. Or shouldn't they <coughs> coordinate it? Uh, they are coordinating their own system. Yeah, we're not prepared to bring them into the town system at this point. That would be a major expense. Yeah. A very major expense. And they, have this, they already have, they're already using the IMC software, yeah. which is for the police department. So they're right. probably most likely, I can't speak directly for them, but my guess is they didn't ask, so they're probably happy with the software that they have. Uh, if it, emergency management systems has to involve fire and police. Sonny, Sonny, I can answer that for you, okay? Sonny, look at me. I can answer that. The fire department with medical, the, the police wouldn't be doing medical. Fire does a lot of stuff with medical records, a lot of medical records. So it's good. They're, they're, they're trying to use, they were using the police right. software, and it's really not applicable for a fire department because they do a lot of medical stuff. And so I can understand completely why they'd have to have their own software from a specific vendor for the fire department, okay? That's the answer to that. Yeah, so the, that, that software is also HIPAA compliant. 
Police Department which, is not. Exactly, and that HIPAA is a big deal for, you know, for privacy, for people's medical records, so I can understand this. <coughs> Ginny, you had a question as well? Yes, what is the undesignated balance? Fund. fund balance? Yeah, what's the total on that? I had all that with me last, year, last week. It's, I think it is, <coughs> do you remember, Tim, when I was here last week, I didn't bring all that report. I think it was six million. Yeah, it was six or seven million dollars. Mm -hmm. No, it, it's in the six six. structure. I can't remember if it was six million and thirty-six thousand or <coughs> it was six million six hundred and thirty-six thousand. Six, six. I think it's six, six. Six, six. Six, six, six. six. What are you talking and about? How uh, long the did unassigned fund balance? Oh, yeah. The unassigned okay. fund balance, yeah. yeah. How does it get to be six million? I mean, isn't that the money that's the difference between expenditures and revenues? It's it's yeah. the surplus ex expenditures that are left over. Yeah. And the increase in revenues. Yeah, okay. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Some <laughs> of that well, some of that sometimes is used to return to We were that. using the last two years okay. we've used one point six million to reduce the tax rate. Okay, and you still have a reserve of six. Yeah, we have. We're supposed to keep five percent of the total town appropriations in reserve. Right. Okay. Right. Right now, I think we're just full, or right at the ten percent. Yes. Or approaching eight, I think, with right. all the Warren articles yeah. down here. Yeah, because I was going to say we spent four hundred forty thousand of all the Warren articles passed. Right. Okay. Yeah. You all set, Jenny? Yep. Attention Thank you very that. much. Okay. To keep the cost up. Okay. Anybody else have any questions on this one article? Seeing none. Oops. I think uh, I think what Sonny might have been going, but certainly where he inspired me to think about, was the, <coughs> the interface between police and fire relative to dispatch in terms of coordination, that kind of thing. Um, it's already coordinated. We have dual dispatches set up in case of emergency in both facilities. I mean, with regard to this new software, it will it be will it be an interface with that software itself? The interface will not be for the two departments. You don't you don't mix those two things right. together because you're going to violate HIP if you do. Right. Exactly. Oh, I see. Okay. So you got the Chinese firewall in there. Uh, you got the fi the firewall in there, but in, in case of emergency, let's say the police department, the police facility goes down, we have a second police facility in the fire station, and we have vice versa for the fire department and the current. Uh, police facility. So okay. when we move the headquarters up here, we set that system up. We also have a system that combines um, emergency management with all those systems. Okay. And that is in the uptown fire station. So there is consideration of the interface between the police and fire as appropriate in terms yes. of what law would, uh, law would allow, such as HIPAA. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. What's that, Tim? Any, yes. any further questions from anybody? T uh, Sonny? Yeah. Have you checked with other towns to see what they're doing to coordinate their services? To coordinate? The it's about the same size town. To coordinate what? The services, police, fire, emergencies. Emergency services uh, come, the individual departments, they, 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 they're divorced from each other for a reason. Uh, you can't combine the two of them into a single system. Each one has to have their own system because there are certain laws that govern what they do and how they do it. I understand that, but I mean, you, you, you know, the, the system should coordinate. To coordinate, well, when I, when I look at coordination. Yeah, you said you've got people, a system that will. We do coordinate uh, between the systems, yeah. okay? But it's, it's, it's more a human interface than anything else. All set, Sonny? <coughs> Thank you very much. Any what Sorry, no, these are simple ahead, questions. Tim. Go ahead. Uh, assuming the warrant article passes, when would you anticipate putting out? I believe you said a request for proposals. That would go with the normal the system, yeah. Yeah. yeah what, what would be the uh, time frame for that? So it would be sometime during this coming fiscal year. Right after after the like April. Or? I would think for the website one, we could probably have all of that done within a couple of months. I shouldn't take that long. I wouldn't believe. I don't know about the software though. I mean, we, we've, we've structured it so that we could run out to 2020 if we had to. Right, right, right. The reason I ask is that, you know, I've done my own analysis from years ago when I was on the Selectman's IT Committee, and, and I discovered some rather interesting vendors that I didn't hear you mention, and I thought maybe uh, I could get some of those names to you so that you could Absolutely. send out a request for proposal. We send them out to, if we have a list, we definitely send them out. So if you would give us the names, we would happily send them the request. Right, I just want to kind of an idea in my head when I need to get it to you because there's you know, all kinds of things on my plate. I just got to do it tomorrow. But 
I would say. Um, if I have it done by uh, April 1, I'll be okay? I, yes, that's what I was going oh, yeah. to okay. about there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Okay, we're ready to vote on this. Seeing no more questions. All those in favor, please raise your hand. Okay, it's unanimous to recommend.